Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel where I share great ideas. Today I want to demonstrate my uh, newest uh, articulating arm for hollow turning on the wood lathe. I, the first one I made uh, was basically a, a prototype, this is it here, and it, I've already made one video of that and some of you have probably seen that, but uh, if you haven't, go back and look at that one also because I explain a lot of things on there that I won't do on this one. This one here was made to attach right to the quill of the lathe and uh, it was just made out of some not uh, birch wood that I had because I was just figuring out uh, basically if it would work or not made out of wood and uh, it was very successful. So this particular one here is uh, all made out of oak, killing dried oak from start to finish. Uh, with the first one, it was just uh, wood that wasn't uh, dried that well, and you had to tighten the bolts up a little bit after a while because it thing there. But I suggest you make them out of killing dried wood. And this one I wanted to make that had its own stand here that you can see here. Uh, one of the ways that this turned out I think quite well is I put a slot only on one side and brace to the back. This will allow this to turn in any direction and if you need this post over that way for some reason you just flip it around uh, and it works quite well. This one uh, I've made this length of this arm and the length of this arm the same length. Uh, first one, this one was shorter because I made a mistake on the curve of it and had to cut some of it off, but it still worked well. But um, this probably could be used on a lathe with didn't have such a long bed. Uh, so I basically made it the same as the other one. Uh, I've got uh, videos made of step-by-step uh, -step process that I went through to build this and it will be posted as uh, soon as I post this video and it uh, will be two parts, part one and part two uh, building the whole unit and uh, all the information will be on there and uh, as well as a plan if you want to work with a plan but this unit here can be made for less than twenty dollars it just uses these bearings in here are very inexpensive a 6201 bearing and uh, some 12 millimeter bolts and a few others for tightening here I found that I had to put a piece of metal on here because I only had one bolt through here and that's explained in the in the construction videos and uh, the boring bar right now is just a, a boring bar for a metal lathe, a three quarter inch diameter metal lathe boring bar that I'm going to try it out on this one. I've got other boring bars and I'll show you those later. Later, This is a uh, hollow turning that I started when I did the uh, first uh, the, on the prototype but uh, it uh, cracked because it was just green wood but anyway it, and we'll just demonstrate it using that same one there. And I'm standing behind the lathe here so my friend here can uh, take the video a lot better but normally I would work from the other side and I'm sure you would too. So let's just uh, turn this on and uh, give it a try.
that was kind of fun. Almost didn't want to quit. But uh, being that this is dried out now, it uh, was a little bit out of shape in there, so I'll get a little vibration on the tool tip right there. But uh, just from what I could determine, this uh, the articulating me mechanism wasn't was smooth as silk, and there was no no problem with it uh, being too weak or anything like that. It worked very well. Anyway, I'm going to put another uh, boring bar in here just to show you one more that goes comes back a little bit there. Okay, I've changed to a different uh, uh, boring bar. This uh, boring bar is homemade uh, from 4130 aircraft tubing, three quarter inch outside diameter, one eighth wall thickness. It works real slick. I just used a bolt, half inch bolt, slipped it in, tap for uh, uh, two set screws, and then a little bit of welding here, made up a little piece there to go on the outside. Now I'm gonna tighten this up here. It's just, uh, you'll see this on the plan, how this, uh, is built here. I do have a, a recommendation though if the, that if when you have something that torques quite a bit on it and uh, these uh, two clamp bolts may not hold it securely enough. I've also put a pin in, hole here for a pin with a little slot on the end of the boring bar uh, with a pin just stuck in there there's no way it can turn and I'd, I'd highly recommend to do that. I've got that on one of the other bars but I don't have this little slot cut on this bar. So we'll see if this works just with the clamp here. We'll give her a try here. Uh, just being this larger hole I can get in there quite easily. If it was a smaller hole you'd have to bring it way over and then come way back. You see how that articulating arm works. wood here as you can like I said it was uh, cracked so you're getting all kinds of vibration with the tool bit and that and uh, uh, this time this turned a little bit here but if I'd had the pin in there it wouldn't have done that so with that chattering with those slots in there it put a lot of force out there so if you're doing stuff like that highly recommend to slot the end of the uh, boring bar and put the little pin in and there's no way it's going to move but uh, other than the vibration because of the bad piece of wood here it, uh, it worked was very nice and smooth the action was very smooth so I'm basically very happy with this and uh, I hope some of you will uh, watch the uh, construction videos and make one for yourself really nice to be able to use a tool that you made yourself you know uh, very low cost um, it's nice to have good quality tools that you buy there's so many uh, quality manufacturers out that are making these tools but for the average person if you have to buy it in US prices and then ship it it becomes you could be paying twice as much as uh, as as the listed price anyway uh, the next, uh, I'm going to make one more variation of this uh, that's going to attach to the tool post here. And you'll be able to use it in a little different method. So subscribe and uh, you'll get my further great ideas. And I hope you enjoyed this today and check out the uh, construction videos.